Yo, 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 it's a oh, weird flow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? Bringing you some Black Ops 3, and we're going to be going over the emblems today. I just started looking through these emblems, and there are so many sick emblems, and I figured I could make a few videos about them. If you guys like to see these, these type of videos, or if you enjoy it, drop a like for me. That'd be beautiful. And let me know what you want to see next. I figured today we could do Star Wars, and we could do we could always do like anime in the future, or like girls, or whatever it is that you guys want to see. Let me know for sure, and let's get into these sexy emblems, man. These things are awesome. The first one we're going to look at is called just Rey, right? Obviously, you got BB-8. In the in the foreground with Ray kind of in the midground and then they're walking through the scary scary deserts which is amazing don't mind my hair guys I kind of just got up so my hair is probably a mess but beautiful I don't know how people make these emblems man I just I don't know <laughs> yo th this emblem right here is it looks simply designed kind of like the designs look a little bit simple but oh my god so sick with the Darth Vader with the freaking lightsaber Right there, that's amazing. And I saw another one right next to it, actually, that I want to show you guys that I also thought was awesome. This one right here, the Stormtrooper. This, dude, I love the black and white effect of just, like, when you got something that's just simply black and white, it looks so simple and so clean. Such a beautiful, beautiful emblem. Once again, man, this is legit artistic skill in my mind. Like, obviously, they're not, like, painting it. But the skill it takes to make an emblem like this, if you do it all from just your mind, that is amazing, man. Just with all the stuff. Because the shapes they give you are crappy shapes. You get like a square and a little star and a guy with a gun. And somehow people make these emblems. It's, it's amazing. And of course, you know they had to make an emblem. This is probably one of the better ones I've seen. I've been looking through these for a good minute. And this is definitely one of the better ones that I've seen, man. This is awesome. Kylo Ren, the new villain from the new movie, The Force Awakens, right here. He's got his lightsaber. What's up with the lightsabers, by the way, in, that Kylo Ren has? Like, his looks like it just kind of got some issues going on with it. Like, it might have a technical malfunction. Got to replace the batteries in that, bro. It's all, like, splitting all over the place. Uh, pretty cool villain. Don't know how I really felt about him. He's pretty cool, I guess. And, of course, right next to him, we got another one coming up for the number one spot. Just kidding. I feel like I, I don't know if I should put these in order. Maybe I'll just pick 10 because I don't know if I can put them in order because they're all so good. We got BB-8. Of course, he's he joined the dark side. He's now going to be a Sith Lord. He's going to be taking people out. BB-8 looks like the love child between R2-D2 and the Death Star. This, I had to put Boba Fett in this. Boba Fett is probably, I think it's one of everybody's most favorite characters from the Star Wars series. I know Boba Fett is sick. I've seen a couple Boba Fett ones. I really do enjoy this one just because it's the close-up. And you don't need to see the full picture of him to see who he is. Another beautiful one by Jerkface74. So shout out to you, uh, Jerkface74, for uh, making this Boba Fett. <laughs> Yo, this is probably my favorite one so far, you guys. It's called Batman vs. Father by P.S. Brother. And, of course, we got Darth Vader with Jedi Batman, man. Batman, I am your father. Beautiful. This is probably my favorite one. This one's super amazing. Let me know which one is your guys' favorite in the comment section below. Another awesome Kylo Ren one. Kylo Ren, I'm just so kind of torn about him as a villain. I thought he was a little bit whiny, but I guess it is kind of a good contrast to Darth Vader, who was like the ultimate man. But Kylo Ren, still very cool villain, and this is an awesome emblem again. And uh, I really enjoy it. I hope that you guys definitely enjoyed this episode of Black Ops 3 Emblems. Let me know which ones you want to see in the next episode. There's so many different cool emblem emblems that we could go over. So let me know what you guys are into so that I could bring that to you. Make sure you drop a like if you made it this far in the video. And subscribe if you're new. I love you guys a ton. I am over and out.